Kenny here with Gardening Simplified. It's February 21st, and I'm wondering how early is too early. We have a jungle in here. We've just got tomato plants that are just really getting large. And we're a ways away from time to plant these. And look, we have cucumber plants here that are all ready to produce. They're growing up. I'm having to keep them broke loose from the top. Tell them, no, 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 don't grab on everything. We're taking you out of there. Well, we're going to see what happens. We have a false summer here, seems like. It's going to be up around 80 today or so. I'm sure it's warm in the greenhouse. I hadn't got back out there to see. Got the sides rolled up a bunch on one. Looks like I'm probably going to have to start rolling up the sides on the other one here for a few days. Uh, do have a lot of wind. Uh, but anything, anyway, things are getting green. And I'm ready to put some tomato plants in the ground. And I've been talking about maybe risking them, putting them in early. So today's the day. Oh, these little cuties sure liking the sunshine. And these cucumbers, they've already got to a point to where they're putting on some uh, female flowers. So it shouldn't be long we get these in the ground. We'll see how this does. We uh, went and got us another load of compost. We're almost finished there. And we have such a pretty crop of veggies out here but we have a whole lot of beds need to be planted and we got a whole lot of uh, transplants needs to come out of the greenhouse days like today when it's real windy it's really a good day to give some extra water because this wind will really dry out some plants well it's the next day I had some mic issues with my video so it didn't get finished uh, now, we did pretty good. We got one cherry tomato slipped in here with these celebrities, so that'll be kind of the oddball out. But uh, I was wanting to show you when we planted these, which uh, uh, what we did was we dug the holes a little deep so we could plant these deeper, and then we uh, pruned up the lower limbs uh, and plant them, like I say, pretty, pretty deep down in there. But we mended the hole. I had some uh, organic uh, 323, and I mixed uh, two cups of ag lime in a five gallon bucket with it, and, and two cups of uh, bone meal, which is 020, and a cup of azomite. So we'd see how it, it did as far as trace mineral, minerals. Uh, the bone meal on if if you've been following along last year uh, did real good on our squash crop so I said let's go ahead and apply that to our uh, tomatoes now the peppers usually don't have much of a problem with bugs occasionally one will uh, eat peppers but they really don't get infected but you know tomatoes uh, they they've got a lot of different things and and the key is I think a healthy plants not going to draw insects to it they if there's something that stresses them, it's going to cause it. But with that extra phosphate, hopefully, which it, it will help it to uh, uh, bloom and it's and for its fruit production, which which will be great. But I'm hoping that it'll do uh, something to deter insects. But over here we've got our uh, bell peppers, six of them, and uh, we have our celebrities which are uh, determinant tomatoes. So they'll, they'll produce uh, most of their tomatoes all at once. And they grow to about, uh, maybe about four foot, you know, maybe, maybe five, but usually about that. Over here we have our uh, jalapeno peppers and our cherry tomatoes. And then we have, and, and you can see they were, if, if I, did show that in the video they were laying over because um, the rough handling and stuff like that but but they seem to be doing all right now the uh, cucumbers now I'm, it's fixing to rain here so uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll 
string up my lines. I have some blowing around here, a few that's up, that's still up from last year, and I'll add what I need to. The same thing for my tomatoes. Uh, I think my cherry tomatoes, I'll put them on a, a line to run. Uh, the others, I might go ahead and, and put my big cages on them. Uh, I, I'll just have to decide that when it comes to it. But anyway, uh, the thing I want to stress is I am really early on these uh, tomatoes and peppers. But it, it's, it's looking good. Of course, I'm not going to say it won't happen. It's not the first time I put out something real early and it's looking good. And we get that uh, one cold spell, but hopefully I can do enough to protect them and uh, have some early tomatoes and peppers. But if you... if if you want to follow along, see how this goes. Well, if you're sub not a subscriber, hit the subscribe, hit the bell, and select all so you get all the notifications and updates. And if you like this, we'll give it a big thumbs up. And if there's something that you'd like to see in a video in the future, we'll just put it in the comments. And if at all possible, I'll uh, see what I can do about it. But most of all, enjoy that gardening experience.